It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Welcome to the show. I, uh, Pat, we got a lot for you to do today. So oh, boy. No Good. Um, we have a, a number of things that are going to require songs. Are, there, are the, these NFT things going to make the news every day now? Is that what's happening? Possibly. Possibly. I mean, they're okay. a big deal. All right. The world's adjusting. Okay, I think it's a fraud. It's the emperor's Tom's new clothes. Oh. It's the emperor's new clothes. Uh, you're buying nothing. Okay, good luck with you. No, you're not. You're buying an NFT. Okay, good. Good luck with that. Uh, as we, we were talking yesterday about the... Uh, the halftime show yes is largely what would be considered a uh, classic hip hop i think would be the sure a lot of it uh, some of the 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 older folks from the world of hip hop will be out part of it uh, including um, who is it uh, yes, Eminem Eminem Dr Dre Dr Dre uh, Snoop Kendrick Lamar Snoop Mary and, J and, Blige and we were talking about it yesterday at this time cuz one of the uh, one of the unusual bets you can make is will Snoop fire up um, any uh, a fatty? A, a, a fatty. Thank you very much. I was going to say doobage. I don't know what the current term is. A blunt, a, a spliff, whatever. Will he do that during his uh, during his set? He says today that he gets in the zone when he's performing, but after is when he gets really nervous because he doesn't. He's afraid of what people are going to say about him, and he'll be fine. It'll be. I know. <laughs> he he defines relaxed, doesn't he? Yeah, I think. Oh, but. Yeah, he seems to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, well, Pat, now you're famous uh, for your uh, for your rap. You shouldn't pause there. <laughs> uh, you're, you oh, have, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a tribute to rap. You have to say. dilute that stuff to make it more palatable. You yeah. take the. Uh, I mean, well, I think I, a lot of folks watching the Super Bowl because it does draw people from all walks of life. It will be the most watched television program in America coming yeah. up this Sunday. And uh, a lot of people who don't follow football at all will be watching. And then a lot of people who are fo football followers, a lot of them love rap, a lot of them don't like it at all. It'll be... <laughs> I think it's fair to say that. Yeah, no, it's absolutely yeah. fair to say that. Or I mean, we can talk. There are some who like it okay. I mean, there are some who absolutely love it, but they don't own any CDs. There are some who. <laughs> Tell me more, Josh. I think it, it might be somewhat polarizing uh, for for many. But I mean, if, if the way uh, the country music has embraced rap, if you've seen a, some of the contemporary country sure, artists. I saw a concert recently. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, some say country and rap combined means crap. But it's oh, it's, no, it's no. certainly oh. in, in the ear of the beholder. <laughs> but uh, Pat, would you be kind enough to do your uh, rap tribute for us? He's going to use the word prism here. To would you? Uh, would you <laughs> sing uh, with me? You do the backgrounds then. Uh, I'm happy. I to love this song. Uh, well, I'm you take uh, you take the gangster rap, Josh, and yeah. you tone it down. Mm -hmm. You put it to a nice folk melody, and uh, this is filtered through the prism <laughs> <laughs> of a man like me, and I'm. Patty G. He's Patty G. And it's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. I'll pop a cap in your ass if you're in my neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. <laughs> you ain't all that, my brother. What you say about my mother? I'm the bomb. Say no joke, it's gangster folk. Oh, he's, he's the bomb. bomb. That ain't no joke, it's gangster folk. There you go. <laughs> Yo, dog, check it out. My hoochie's fly. His hoochie's, hoochie's fly. fly. Don't diss my boo. Don't what is a boo? boo? Or you'll end up like you know who. Tupac, that's who. Shout out to all my G's. What's up, peeps? Cracker, please. I'm dope. <laughs> Take a talk of gangster folk. <laughs> it's gangster folk. We be chilling out. Putting on the conic. We all folked out. Hoes in the hot tub 24 7. Homie, ain't no lie. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, I ran out of there. I'm the baddest <laughs> MC. My rhymes are. Fat, I cock my Glock, biatch. True that. <laughs> Push this on my Izzle dog, keep on playing. I have no idea what he's saying. But I'm the bomb, this ain't no joke, it's gangster folk word. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> word. Very nice. Let's sing my song. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> For romantic couples are going viral on TikTok. Ooh. Among the new apps gaining traction on social media, I have not heard of either of these. Maybe you youngsters. Lock it, which allows people to send photos to one another. There's a similar one that starts with an F. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's mostly <laughs> genitalia based. <laughs> and no telt, which lets users send each other little drawings and scribbled notes that they can add to their screens. No telt? 
N O T E L T. Oh, that's an odd name. Is that supposed to be it's secretive and like no tell? I don't, I don't or know. Or note oh, that's L T. Note no. light. Note. Oh, note maybe little? it's maybe it's note it. Oh, note it. That's exactly that's what, what it is. is. Yes, See, note it. Oh, I that. Oh, it, it, the, it looked like no tell. Yeah, there. because yeah. It, I thought it was too. That's because the of, capital I and the L look exactly the same right. in this font. Uh, it's uh, Helvetica has failed. Oh, one of the 19-year-old <laughs> females... saying this for years. They've got to fix that. <laughs> Note it. Yeah, you're right. One 19-year-old female user said, quote, during COVID, having something like the Note It or Lock It See, app... If you say it, Note It, you really have to kind of put a kind of <laughs> yeah. spin on that pause for yeah. it's like a very flat-chested it. gal. <laughs> Dig someone with Note It's a, is the, There's probably a website for that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's with the A cup? Yeah, I met her on Note It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a the, yeah, it's, 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 it's a dot itty bitty city. All right. <laughs> Pretty city. One 19 year old female user said during COVID, having something like the Lock It or Note It app allows you to Thank get you. reassured throughout the day, like, hey, this person cares about me. Even if it's just once a week, it's like its own love language in and in itself, making art for someone else. Oh, isn't that sweet? Yeah, but you can draw a picture of yourself. You're going to exaggerate, maybe, you know? Well, hey. Can't you just do that on a text? That, that's, you... that's dick it, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit dirty. I drew a picture of myself. Why do you need I, an I, app? Can't you just... Uh, Josh, I, I, I'm going to create a scenario here. All right. Let's just say, for the sake of this scenario, I know this isn't true, but let's just say you were seeing someone right now and you're involved in a romantic relationship. Okay. Um, for Valentine's Day, would you give her an NFT of a bouquet of flowers? No, I wouldn't. Because Why? Um, I it, for something like Valentine's Day, I would rather give her something tangible, uh -huh. yeah. as opposed to giving her nothing. Uh, well, NFT something that could be nothing. potentially worth something later. But no, I yeah. Okay. Yeah. I uh, NFTs theory. have their place. I don't think they're for Valentine's Day. An NFT of flowers would cost you like twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm not buying <laughs> that. Yeah, for I thought Josh was Mr. NFT. I was already FT. Yeah, there's a place in the world for yeah, them, okay. and I think okay. they're. Good. I mean, they are Dad. the future. Okay, so. so I'm sorry. So these new romantic apps are called No. What is he again? Note. 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 It. it. Sorry. Right. And lock it. That reminds lock me, it. I didn't look at Bumble yet this morning. Oh. I, I refer to it as checking the traps. <laughs> 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 and, and Pat, you're, you're, are you, you're not discussing your most recent foray, are you? Oh, I, it is what it is, you know. I, it I it on, wasn't, I is what on, it is. I went on two dates, and uh, that what? was it. Yeah. Oh, it, she you, saw his car. No. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Remember he parked on the fifth floor so she wouldn't see his car that yeah. she saw it and thought. Yeah. You know. Yeah, she saw it. <laughs> what, what was her, what, can I say what she said? Something you can say. I, I said, well, I was joking around saying, hey, you see a car like that with duct tape, and that, you, that means the guy doesn't have his life together. And she says, do you have your life together? <laughs> and I said, not really. I don't think our lifestyles match, yes. I think. So she didn't see the car. She saw the real you. <laughs> well, that's probably true. It's awesome. Oh. Talk to me for 10 minutes. You get it. Oh, that guy's a psycho well, that's a shame. She it's, a, cool. it's a 2016 failure. She, oh. she is cool. Yeah, those are good. I think. Yeah, sorry to hear it, man. Yeah, well. We love you, Pat. You'll she find was, the right guy. And she was super hot, I heard. Very, very attractive. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, it's a shame. Baby. Maybe, maybe it's worth going back. Very uh, successful. You know, I'm right. telling you, as one loser to another. Yes, sir. Open with the loserdom. Open with... That's what I said. I have... I, th when I meet a girl, first date... I have horrible credit. I have two ex-wives. I have a bunch of exes who hate me. I have nothing together. I don't have a savings account. You know, I'm not good in bed. If, if any of this is going to bother you, leave now. And they're like, you know what? I think we can make this work. I want to. Yeah, that's they my new profile. The it's never, it's never kept me from dating someone. Wow, this is great. Uh, what have you got over there, Christy? Tell me. More. Well, we're speaking of love, so we have to do this story. A zoo in the UK trying to get monkeys in the mood with the help of a Marvin Gaye impersonator. <laughs> impersonator? He, not just playing the music? Yeah, this is what bugs me about this. You think they would just go, okay, we're trying to get the monkeys into it, so why don't we try a little bit of... Uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been really trying, but no, it's it's a Marvin Gaye impersonator live. The Trentham, monk the Trentham Monkey Forest is going all out for mating season by hiring David Largy to serenade the zoo's Barbary macaques with Marvin Gaye's greatest hits, including, which we just heard, Let's Get It On, and one of my favorites, Sexual Healing. Unfortunately, it didn't work. Oh, yeah. The monkeys didn't end up having sex. They ended up shooting their sons. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm going to go. It's a faithful oh. impression is what it is. <laughs> 
I'd part, be concerned that the monkeys would start humping whoever the guy is at the keyboard. That's, I, I was wondering if that was part of this, is that they needed the body in there or whatever. Park director Matt Lovett said of the plan, quote, we thought it could be a creative way. Matt Lovett. It's Lovett. <laughs> Jealous? Lovett. Oh, oh. L-O-V-A-T-T, not Lovett. I'm sorry, that was my fault. We thought it could be a creative way to encourage our females to show a little affection to males that might not have been so lucky in love. Lavat added, each birth is vital to the species, with barberry macaques being closed and classified as endangered. The zoo hopes the private performance will result in a record number of births. Isn't that year. funny? How strange. That you know, I bet I'll put them in the mood. What? Not being in a zoo. Yeah, that always helps, doesn't it? <laughs> Freedom. <laughs> I explain to you something. I'm about joking. That. I know, I know. Oh. I, and I, this is an honest question. Yes. I'm not kidding when I ask this. Okay. Why not give them booze? Well, because we had that story, we had alcoholic yeah, monkeys. Remember, they like I know, sponge. but if they're if the, if if this really is an endangered species, well, because it doesn't work the same as it, it does doesn't. for humans. How do you know they're just like little people? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> that is, uh, two monkeys are yeah, sitting haven't you there. Ever seen them with their little hats and shoes? They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, playing yeah, the accordion. Little hats and shoes. <laughs> what is wrong with you? When what? monkeys don't sit together and go, you know what? I wouldn't bang her, but eh, maybe if I had three drinks. In me. <laughs> They don't look I, at each other that way. These are three drink I, I monkeys, which have, is. I wonder if a science, if they've ever done an experiment well, in which they give the monkeys just a little bit of booze and all of a sudden they start getting a little more amorous. No, I, I, there's no way. I think there is a way. I think it's very logical. And I think some, maybe the booze affects the ladies and they wouldn't be able to conceive, maybe. Yeah. The guys could get whiskey. So here you you kill Joyce, <laughs> well, I'm just preventing saying. these macaques from having a little bit of action. Having a glass of wine and a Marvin Gaye tune? Yeah. I know if I drink too much, it affects macaque. <laughs> so no. I think the same thing might happen. With it does with women, yeah. too, trust me. Yeah. Oh, does it? Yes. Do you become uninterested? No. Well, or unable. Un yeah, be, yeah, whatever. You got a song about this? Yeah, well, Marvin Gaye, here's what it would go like at the zoo there. <laughs> Let's get it on. Is there in front of the macaques? You're not really trying, monkey. <laughs> to monkey mate, monkey do. Oh, stop flinging that poo. Uh. Oh. And if you feel like finding a home for that banana, then come on, come on. Macaque, come on. Macaque, come on. Macaque, <laughs> Macaque is the name of the monkey. Everyone, everyone. Let's, Let's get Boston. it on. Wow. Macaque. Macaque. <laughs> I know you're all sensitive monkeys and don't want to do it in a zoo. Oh, no, you don't want to do it in a zoo. <laughs> but if you put your hands over your eyes like that second monkey, then you'll see no evil, too. Oh, everybody, let me hear you. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Let's get it on. <laughs> macaque, come on. Macaque. I said macaque. <laughs> <No>. Let's <laughs> get it on, my cat. Gosh. <laughs> Let's get it on. Then I'll talk to you. Uh, <laughs> the these are the Barbary macaques. Yes. Um, from Algeria and Morocco, <laughs> in the mountains. Um, very interesting, uh, Christy. This is kind of cool. The uh, male of the species. Yes. Um, they're uh, th they are uh, very good dads. Oh, oh. Well, how about that's that? Nice to know. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> I look at the big screen to my left, and uh, that handsome man is Steven Singer. Yes! And yes. We, once again, you'll find him at IHateStevenSinger.com. Nothing personal, Steven. <laughs> Good morning, guys. How you doing? Great. Good. Nice. Very nice to see you. It's very nice to, to see you. And Josh, would you get your ass out of my chair, please? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Every damn day. You, know, you see the Larry David thing where the guy sits in his chair and he has to rope it off? I got to rope my chair off and get your ass out of my chair. I'm paying for that chair. And every day you're damn sitting in my chair. Well, yeah. Uh, my understanding. Uh, uh, are, you, are, you at your, are you at your home or are you at the office? I have a beautiful home office, so I'm at uh, both, but this is my home office. Uh, we set up a little studio here because of this crazy COVID, and um, we're able to kind of do everything remotely, but I, I have a similar setup at the store. Well, gotcha. you're not going to be able to get anything done, Stephen, because you've got all that stuff on your desk. <laughs> uh, damn right. <laughs> I got my... Oh, yeah. 
my Bob official Tom Bob hat. and Tom hat. Sure. Yeah. Nice, all, nice. my, all my stuff. Yeah. What I'm noticing behind you is you have a bouquet of gold-dipped roses. Now, I don't know if you can see, but right in front of Josh there, we've got one of the red ones, and we have the new, uh, the new Emerald, Green. Emerald, Emerald City. Green, yeah. The Emerald City of beautiful fantastic? Emerald Green, oh, yeah. and uh, people yep. collect them. Uh, and I, what I want to make clear is uh, if you're going to get something at IHateStevenSinger.com, I would recommend doing it right now because uh, I mean, you can probably get them there if they do it before 2 o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. But let's let's just get them rolling today, right? I would not waste time or play around and weather and shipping delays and all kinds of other stuff that could happen. Just go now, get it done, and be it. And, and as you artfully say every day, if you do it before 2 p.m. Eastern time, it's going to get shipped out right away. That oh, look at that! It's like a corsage. Oh like yes, yeah, it looks cool. It's, it looks like he's going to the prom. Very nice. Very 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 Aww. very nice. Like, like the other that. boys. Now, did you go to the prom? I, I like it. I went to two proms. That's right. Oh Dude. really? Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. To the same school or? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. It's just I went. To, the second one was a year after I graduated. My girlfriend was still going there, and that was okay. <laughs> um, yeah. It wasn't, yeah, we like wasn't weird at all going back to your high school? It was a little weird, but uh, <laughs> I, I knew that after prom would pay off. <laughs> Gosh, was it weird? Was it weird dragging that blow-up doll to the prom? Uh, it was a tad awkward, but uh, you know, love is love, Stephen. Yeah, Stephen, did, listen, listen. Did you go? Did you go to your? Did you go to your prom, Stephen? I did. I, I went just like Josh. I went to two because my girlfriend at the time was a year younger, so I went to mine and then went to hers. What? All right. And then we never saw each other again. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I didn't want it to end in some tragedy. I guess it could be worse. Could be like one of those songs where the train hit her on the way home. <laughs> hey, Stephen, I, I have a couple technical questions. Go Typically, uh, globally, if you will, or at least the United States, what is the biggest selling piece of jewelry typically for Valentine's Day? Does it differ from the regular season? Yes. We sell uh, an uh, exponentially higher number of diamond hearts for oh. Valentine's Day, um, which is you know kind of obvious. Anything that symbolizes love. Uh, the last several years, believe it or not, we've son done an unbelievable job with pet jewelry, and that's jewelry for people that pet, like little pet paws or a oh. uh, a mother and child. It's like a, a dog and a little dog or an elephant and a little elephant, those uh -oh. types of things. Those are super uh, cool. I got my ex-girlfriend one of the dog ones. There you go. Didn't yeah. pay off, and, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Girlfriend, yeah. You, know, you are just so well, nice well, He didn't today. have to say. He could have lied and said, no, why, why lie? Okay, I, so this this is, I'm not going to see some NBA player with two diamond studs and a golden retriever's ear. That would be a weird pet jewelry. <laughs> that it, would be weird. <laughs> but yes, we're, but uh, anything with hearts. Uh, right now we're featuring what's called the ring of hearts. It's 15 little hearts with 15 diamonds. And it symbolizes saying, I love you 15 times a day, which is a very, very nice gift. And it's oh. only 128 bucks. So it doesn't have to is, be expensive. Does that go on a necklace or a bracelet? Or? It's a, that's a necklace, but we have them in necklaces, bracelets, earrings, rings. We have it in a, every flavor, but necklaces seem to be the best because it fits everybody and uh, people like it and you can wear it all the time. Now, as, as, someone, in the seven, as, as, as someone in the jewelry business, you've got to be... You know, they, they always say that the, the house painter's house is never painted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. How are things for oh, you? I'm screwed. If you're asking <laughs> about my wife's gifts, I'm completely screwed because she tells me she doesn't want jewelry because it's too easy. But uh -huh. she wants the jewelry and she wants something else. So I have to get jewelry and a pocketbook, jewelry and something. There always has to be an other gift. I have to go that extra mile to prove <laughs> my love. So there's not only the jewelry, there has to be something else. It has to be a vacation, a car, something has to happen. <laughs> that, uh, to, to, you know, and women, just like, you know, when you get a woman an engagement ring, there's one thing that women have in common that they like they want it to hurt they want it to hurt a little bit they want you to go a little bit extra you know whatever your budget is a little bit more you know just to prove, just to prove that love you know what i mean how, how is, sincere you are yeah. is, isn't there some are. kind of mortgage payment yeah. you, formula that yes. has pi r squared in it or something if you like, love me you'll take oh, out yes. an installment we're speaking loan. Uh, we're speaking with yes. steven singer at, at i hate stevensinger.com and um by, if, 
By the way, there's a, that two months, what you're referring to is De Beers, which mm -hmm. uh, controlled the diamond market for many, many years. It sure did. It came up with an advertising slogan that's, you know, you should spend two months salary, which is completely made up BS. There, yeah. is, no, there is no calculation. Oh, they just made it up. There is no calculation. There's nothing that, that says you should do that. You could spend a lot less, a lot more. But they set that benchmark at two months because guys are idiots and they fall for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, the, it's, the yeah. same, it's the same genius that uh, came up yeah. with a psychologist having the 50 minute hour. Uh -huh. what, yes. Who yeah. thought of that? Um, that's, that's golden. Right. That's yes, gold. It's, it's, it's absolute craziness. But uh, listen, as you know, I'm in the business of idiots. So people who come up with this stuff and eh, all right, good. Two months hour. Yeah, we'll do that. That's great. Okay, good. Steven Singer is our guest. I hate Steven Singer.com. Don't forget the gold dipped roses, including this year's Emerald City Rose. I will urge you I to get just, it done today, by the way. You know, Stephen says tomorrow at 2 o'clock I'll do it. I, I'm just trying to be careful here. Well, I, I have two things to tell you. One is I ordered something for my wife online, as I just told you, that has, has to go with, um, you know, the regular jewelry gifts that I have to get. And I expected, because we do it, that it would get shipped out that day. They told me they're out of stock. And what the truth is, they don't even have it in stock. They have to get it from somewhere. So it's going to take 10 days for it to ship. And then I have to wait several days for the shipment. I hate that crap. We are a real jeweler with real, everything that we have on our site, we have in stock and it's going to go out that day. So if you order something and you order by 2 p.m., uh, by two in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time, it's going out that day and you're going to get it very, very quickly and free and fast and free shipping both ways. There's no gotchas, no no return stocking fee, anything like that. It's going to come in the gift box. It's going to come with a gift card. It's going to come with beautiful gift packaging. Everything is all done and it's all set up and it's just very, very easy. But the thing I wanted to tell you is this morning, I get numbers every day of what we're selling, where we're selling it. Mm -hmm. The Green Rose, this Emerald City roses are fastest selling rose in history in 41 years we're doing this this is the fastest selling in history wow we wow. were fulfilling from six in the morning till midnight now we're doing 24 7 just to kind of keep up with it and guess where our second best market neck and neck almost there besides like you know we're here on the east coast so philadelphia new york new jersey is our number one market but out of the whole country guess where our second best may be going to uh, surpass it this morning. Guess where our second best Please say something is. about Bob and Tom show. I was going to say Please Kansas. Say about Indianapolis. Wow. Indianapolis. We're on there. And yep, we are. And Bob and Tom are neck and neck with the number one, our number one show that we've been on for decades and decades. Right there, there, you're either number one or number two every single day, and you have such loyal fans, and you have more fans that call on the phone than any other station. I don't oh. know if it's truck drivers or people or people that don't like websites, but you have more fans. But they are so loyal that they always say, Bob and Tom sent me. I, Tom told me to call. I'll call them before two, whatever it is. That's great. And um, I think that this year could be the first year that we get a city outside of you know, Philadelphia, the tri-state area, Philly, New York, New Jersey, that's going to surpass well, that's our nice. area here. And I think it's because of you. And I have a surprise for you, Stephen. Uh, well, due, due to COVID restrictions, we couldn't bring the girls in live. Huh. However, we do have oh. this. Uh, <laughs> here it comes. Ladies. Oh. It's Steven Singer Singer. There they are. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Good. Duke Tomato and the Power Trio and the Steven Singer singers are singing off, Mr. Yeah. Singer. Uh, hey, thanks, Steven. Steven, it's great. Thank you so much. You look much, like you're going guys. camping, by the way, that nice flannel shirt. I, it's uh, right listen, up my alley. You know, I didn't have to travel to Indy, so I'm just <laughs> relaxing right here in the home office. Yeah, but great, great time I again. thank you so much for your friendship and partnership and all the loyal fans of, of Bob and Tom. And I'm hoping Bob and Tom's going to push us over this year and anything that anybody needs don't forget you have the builder bouquet so if you're dumb like me you can set it up where you'll get mother's day valentine's day christmas birthday anniversary automatically come automatically ship and you get a little free display wonderful wow. with the rose scent and it's all set up and you could build a bouquet and you're all set for the whole year. I've been urging people to uh, pick up one of the Emerald City Gold Dip Roses for upcoming St. Patrick's Day as well. A nice yep. little gift. Oh, there. yeah. There you go, Josh. Okay, well, Steve, we got to go. Uh, it's good talking Thanks, to guys. you. Yeah, bye. Thanks, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy you Valentine's too. Day. Great to see you. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. 
and be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight. <laughs>